Hello, now we are going to see about neighborhood and interior points. First, we will see about neighborhood point. Any point belongs to the metric space and open set that contains that point is called a neighborhood of that point. Let us consider a metric space X. Let W be the subset of the metric space X. Let us consider a point A and the subset W. Draw a ball B of A comma R with center as A and radius as R. The ball around this point A is said to be an open ball since it satisfies the condition that the distance between any point B in X and the center A in W is less than the radius R. The open ball B of A comma R is contained in W. The subset W of X is said to be open since for every point A belongs to W, we have an open ball centered at A that is contained in W. Thus, for any point A belongs to the space X, an open set that contains the point A is called a neighborhood of that point A. We will see an another example. Now, let us consider a point B and the boundary of the subset W. Draw an open ball with center as B and radius as R. The portion shaded with vertical lines, that is, half of the open ball is lying outside the subset W. The open ball is not completely contained in W. By the definition of open ball, the ball should contain within the subset W. Since the open ball B of B, R is not contained within W. Therefore, W is not a neighborhood of the point B. Here, we are going to see an example with real line. Let us consider a real line with values 0 to 5 per unit of centimeter. Consider an open interval 2, 4 in this real line. So, the center point is 3. Then, the distance between the points 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 is 1 centimeter. So, the radius of the open interval 2, 4 with center point is 3 is 1 centimeter. In this example, we have considered an open interval 2, 4. So, we need to exclude the boundary points 2 and 4. By excluding the boundary points 2 and 4, choose any point in between this open interval 2, 4. Let that point be 2.5. Then, the distance between the points 2.5 to 3 is 0 0.5 cm. The value 0 0.5 cm is less than the radius 1 cm. Similarly, consider another point 3.7. Then, the distance between the points 3 to 3.7 is 0 0.7 cm. The value 0 0.7 cm is less than the radius 1 cm. This open interval satisfies the condition modulus x minus 3. That is, distance between any point in this interval and center point 3 is less than the radius r. Hence, the open interval 2, 4 is a neighborhood of the point 3. Here, the open ball is of smallest radius value epsilon and the center point a. The subset w is a neighborhood of a. So, this is said to be an epsilon neighborhood of a point a. Let's see about an interior point. Let us consider a point A in the subset W. Here, the neighborhood exists around a point A. It's nothing but the ball B of A, comma epsilon is contained in W. So, the point A is said to be an interior point. In this diagram, the open ball around the center point B with radius epsilon is not contained in the subset W. So, W is not a neighborhood of the point B. Since neighborhood not exists around B, B is not an interior point. Thank you.